morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Just Keep Parenting. And um, I've got five ideas for you this week as you continue to work with your children at home, continue to have fun with them in the summer, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Um, but we're glad that you visited us, visited us at Just Keep Parenting. And uh, I've got five ideas that I just want to quickly share with you about uh, different activities that you can do to keep your children's hands on, which in turn keeps their minds on, right? So anything that they can actually do rather than filling out um, any kind of a worksheet or those types of things uh, will help will help them um, better remember it. And so here we go. So today's first activity is to have a water balloon toss with your friends and family. Um, it's getting warmer. Uh, so I probably wouldn't do this until the afternoon or uh, maybe you wait a couple of weeks and have a water balloon toss. But being able to play water volleyball where you get the towels and you um, toss them over, you know, with a partner, you're holding a towel and you toss them over the net. That might be something that the older kids could do. But this is really great for their eye hand coordination is to be able to see something coming, right? And pull it into their body to be able to catch it rather than trying to catch it out here. So um, you can do this with regular, um, any kind of a ball, basketball, volleyball, soccer ball that they're using as well. But anyway, when it's warm outside, it's fun to do it with um, water balloons. Uh, the next idea that you could do is to have your children count how many circles or any kind of different um, shape they can find in the kitchen, right? And so you can set them up with a clipboard and have them draw circles. You can set them up, um, with just a piece of paper as they're sitting at the counter, as they're sitting at the kitchen table, and just have them look around the room and find how many circles they can find, right? How many triangles, how many squares? Um, um, are there any hearts in the kitchen, right? And so being able to help them notice those things um, as well as draw those things if your kids are struggling with their small motor skills, right? Instead of just counting with either a check mark or a tally mark you could also have them draw um, the shape that they see and take it to another room right oh my gosh you found 50 50 triangles in the kitchen i wonder if you could find something that would be more than that or less than that as you went to a different room in the house right so this might not be just a one day activity but you could surely um, use it differently as you worked with your children uh, the third idea is to paint a storm using watercolors, right? Um, and if you don't have watercolors in your house, you can do it with um, any kind of paint, but that's what we normally find that uh, people have in their houses are watercolors. And so you might do it on a stormy day, and that way they can look out the front window or the picture window or sit on the porch as they do it, but they could paint a storm using watercolors. Uh, the next one is to make a lemonade stand, All right? You could do it in your backyard and just have uh, people who come in and, and visit in your backyard. I noticed last week I had neighbors that had been to the farm and they were selling, they had individually cupped butterflies that they had... Uh, grass in there and they had some dandelions in there and they poked holes up top in the plastic wrap so that the butterfly could um, breathe. But uh, I was happy to go across the street and purchase a butterfly uh, from their stand. And so think about maybe it's just not a lemonade stand, um, but maybe there's other things that you can sell um, in a stand with a stand idea in front of your house. Um, and then the last idea that I have is to set up a pool. Um, right now during quarantining, the pools are not open, but I have already heard people that are getting their pools out and getting it ready, uh, whether it's some sort of a baby pool, whether it's a bigger pool that you put up in your backyard, whether you have a pool at your house, right? Um, I know I've been talking to my friends in Arizona and they're starting to get in the water in Arizona. Here in Utah, we're not quite starting that yet. <laughs> but nonetheless, I have seen kids with sprinklers on, right? 
on their tramps as I've been driving around. So use somehow use some water today. Um, there's other ideas to put it in a squirt bottle, right? If it's not warm enough to go swimming, then you can get a squirt bottle and fill it up with water. And then you can take it out on your porch, take it out on the road, take it out on the sidewalk and draw things. It really helps with their small motor skills to be able to um, run that trigger, right? And plus it helps just their, there again, their eye-hand coordination to be able to draw a D an O, an R, an I, an E. So we'll work on their names. They could work on uh, different things to be able to help them with that. I think we mentioned in an earlier, um, an earlier video that you can also put an ice cube outside and see how long it takes it to melt. You can start with a big puddle of water and draw some chalk around it and then check it every 15 minutes and see how small it's getting and um, time it to see how long it takes for it to um, go back up into the atmosphere. So anyway, lots of things to do with water if you can't go swimming today. Thanks for joining us. If uh, Give us a shout out, give us a share. If you know a friend that needs some ideas, um, some quick ideas, there's lots of videos um, up on just keep parenting. Uh, parent videos to kind of help us speak the language of children. Lots of read, a, read alouds, lots of motor songs, whether it's large motor or small motor. Lots of um, interesting and engaging things to do during um, school at home. So thanks for watching today and have a great week.